And welcome back. Continuing to update you on the impacts of flooding in our area. North Mankato City staff joining us now. Police Chief Ross Gullickson and also Public Works Director Luke Arnold joining us from the City of Mankato. Thank you both for being here. Oh, well, thank you. Of course. And we want to talk specifically today about the levee system that was built on the intersection of Lee Boulevard and Lookout Drive. I want to address one question that a lot of people have been sending us right away. If the river or the Rapidan Dam were to collapse and we were to see an increase of water come in, would this levee, this temporary earth wall levee, would it wash away? I'm confident that it would not. And the reason being is that I think the perception is that there would be a wall of water, um, like a, a large something you could surf on. And that's simply not the case. We're 10 miles downstream from the river or from the dam. And the water would come up quickly, but it would not be coming up in a matter of moments. That would, uh, that would provide that kind of an impact that would threaten that. Right, and we're seeing this wall from our latest report that we got from the city. This wall is sitting at just a little under, what is it, 35 feet, 40 feet? Yeah, it's actually, because we're further upstream, we're actually probably more than 40 feet above what the gauge zero elevation is at the, mm -hmm. at the measuring section. And I would right. add, Maddie, too, that that, that uh, temporary levy is clay, and it's also uh, wrapped around a layer of uh, polyurethane or plastic, so it's, uh, it's very structurally sound. Yeah, another question that um, some of our viewers had regarding that temporary levy, is there any type of time frame um, in now for how long we're going to continue to see those closures? Uh, we're certainly discussing that um, on a daily and almost hourly basis. Uh, I don't have a solid timeline right now. Uh, it really just depends on what the status of the rapid and dam is, what the status of weather forecasts look like, and what the water level is. As soon as we're confident that it's going down and going to keep going down, we'll start taking it out. Awesome. Thank you for that. Thank you. And you know, another message that we were hearing from the City of Mankato staff, they were giving out their own safety messages of how to stay or how to stay away from the flooding water that's coming in. What would the City of North Mankato say for people who are curious to watch the flooding waters or to go near the levee? Well, as has been mentioned, Maddie, this is a very, this is a historic level. You know, people are naturally curious. They want to see what this looks like and um, uh, kind of be part of history. But those areas are closed for a reason uh, and they're closed for people's safety. Uh, you get too close to the water, the, wa the, the ground is already soft, you could very easily find yourself slipping in, and with as fast as the water is moving, you can be washed downstream in a matter of moments. Mm -hmm. uh, not to mention the risk of that puts our first responders in, so it's closed for a reason. If you want to watch, thankfully, there's no shortage of videos out there from drone footage and everybody else. Uh, stay away from those areas and, uh, and uh, kind of watch the TV and you'll get your fix of, of, of things to look at. Ross Gullickson and Luke Arnold joining us from the city of North Mankato. Thank you again, both of you. Thank you. Of Thank course. You. And still to come, let's go back in time and remind ourselves about the significance of the Rapidan Dam.